It is uh, full summer, August right now. Super hot outside. But my jujube tree is bearing thousands of those little, nice, beautiful jujube fruits. Or we call them Chinese dates. All the other fruit trees are done with their fruits. Peach. There's a pear tree over there. Avocado tree, especially apple tree, used to bury hundreds of uh, apples. Now they're all gone. So, it's time for the jujube fruits. Look at it. They're all mixed with the whole tree because they are green when they're not ripe yet. But if you look carefully, oh, there are hundreds, hundreds of them on the tree. It's crazy. Comparing the tree when it just started, those tiny, tiny flowers, you don't even notice them. And all of a sudden, it's like exploding. The tree is bearing hundreds, thousands of them. Okay, let's look from this side. The tree is bearing so many fruits and it becomes too heavy to stand straight up. Look at the trunk. They all bend down because of those tiny, tiny fruits. And I even had to use the stripes to keep the whole thing straight up. Otherwise, I'm afraid the whole tree will be already on the ground. Comparing the image when the tree was in the winter, Leafless, only trunk left, a tiny, you know, trunk compared to the full um, tree bearing hundreds of fruits. It's dramatically different. So I'm standing high up here to have a better view of the whole uh, jujube tree. So you may wonder if those jujube fruits are good to eat. The answer is yes, definitely yes. They are one of the best fruits I'd like to have. But there are some um, tricks about when to harvest and how to uh, judge if they are ripe or not. So look at the fruits here. So this one is pure green, very beautiful, nice. However, if you pick this up to eat right now, they are somewhat tasteless. The texture might be nice, crisp, crunchy, but um, the sugar level is still low at this moment. So you have to wait until you see those uh, brown marks shows up on the jujube fruit. And the more the better. Look at this, they just started, but it's already good. Because, you know, the fruit put most energy into growing size at the first stage. When they reach the mature size, they start to convert, you know, those things into sugar and make the sugar level high enough for taste. When they start showing brown marks, which means they are ripe and it's good to eat. However, if you wait a bit longer, look at this one. Though their appearance looks pretty similar like the previous one, but you can see there are wrinkles on the skin, which means they've started to lose moisture already. And if I squeeze it, you probably can see it's a little soft. Rather than this one, it's pretty hard. So they are best to eat fresh. And those might be a little bit too late, but don't throw them away, including those guys. Like fully browned, don't throw them away. They are another great ingredient for your kitchen use. After collecting enough overdue jujube fruits, I removed the seed, cut them into small pieces, and then mixed them into the dough right before baking. Just like raisin, they augmented bread with chewy elements and a sweet but unique flavor. They are my favorite ingredients for homemade bread, great for breakfast and a snack. Meanwhile, I also collected quite some jujube fruits for fresh consumption. Fresh, shiny, and big. Comparing to the dry ones, I just can't wait to taste them. All right, I think it's time to try it out. I got one has, you know, grown mark on it. Feel pretty hard. I think that's the best stages that we can eat fresh. To be honest, when I was a kid, I never ate any uh, fresh jujube fruits. All I know, I think, was just dried jujube fruit that we, you know, use as ingredients into some sort of baking or soup. Then I learned, since I have a jujube fruit in my yard, I learned it is actually one of the greatest fruit you can eat fresh. So let's try it out. Whoa. Sweet. I can tell from the texture, it's not as juicy as, you know, apple kind of stuff, but it's not too dry. 
okay, between those two. But super good, has a unique flavor that I've never, you know, tasted before from other fruits. It's really good. Oh my goodness. Wow. Crisp and crunchy, you can see it. Probably can hear from the sound. Oh my goodness. Oh, super good. Okay, now I got the king. I call this king of juju fruits because it's brown all over, but still pretty, you know, hard. I guess this one has the highest level of sugar. It should give you the best flavor. So let's try it out. Oh my goodness. It's even sweeter than the previous one. A lot better. And the crunch and the crisp. And not losing any moisture. Look inside. It's broad all over, but it's still grain inside. Best the best. Wow. Oh, really good. So next time, if you pick up your jujube fruits, okay, I shall make correction to my previous announcement. Find the one with broad all over, but still, you know, stiff and tough and hard. Hey, that's the best of best. The king of the jujube fruits. All right, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you learned a little bit from me how to pick up your jujube fruits for best taste when you eat fresh. You can also use it as a um, wonderful ingredients for all different uh, kitchen recipes uh, to make delicious food for the family. Huh. Thank you for watching. See you next time.